you got the loved when the left red pill themselves. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and like I said, it's great when the left red pills themselves. And today, we're going to have a shorter video, because I realised the last one lasted 28 minutes. And that is way too long listening to my fucking mouth. So, today we're going to be talking about Greta Thunberg. I can't say her name properly, so I'm going to call her Thunberg, or Thunberg. Because I can't, it's meant to say Thunberg, but I'm saying Thunberg. So, remember Greta Thunberg? Yeah. Let's go and take a second to remember who she was. How dare you! You have stolen my dreams and my childhood. Sorry! Sorry! Oh, I'm sorry! Don't hurt me! Sorry! You got Okay, that was enough. That is way too much information there. And so, what is happening in the story today, guys? We have a actual good story. It involves this girl, and she has led pilled herself. And funny enough, She's just realised she's been used as a pawn for the climate change movement. We knew this. We all knew it. But she didn't know it. It was like that how dare you became one of the most funniest things from last year. And we, we know how all these politicians, elites, they all work. She didn't. She didn't realise her parents were using her. She didn't realise all the politicians, the celebrities, the monarchs were using her for the climate change thing and all that. She didn't know that at all. I'm going to give her that. Because this is a girl with Asperger's and she has explained what she's got. And it's actually really appalling how her parents have used her to get all this popularity and fame. And it's kind of nice to see that she's kind of been our way to educate herself and realised what she has done. So, let's go take a look at the article that we have here, because it's pretty good, guys, it's good. Greta Thunberg slams world leaders who only want selfies with her and look good, and says the, they should be ashamed of for betraying the future generations of climate change. <laughs> this is going to be good. 17 year old has claimed she's 17. Holy shit, that is weird. She looks like a fucking 12 year old. Wow. Um, 17 year old has claimed that Angela Merkel, I'm uh, sorry, Angela Merkel, sorry, German Chancellor has queued up for up to a selfie with her at UN Climate Change Summit in the September. As part of a series, she made about campaigning for Swedish radio. Thunberg criticised the behaviour of highest ranking figures at the New York summit. President's Prime Minister's kings and princesses came wanted to talk to me, she said. They saw me and suddenly saw the chance they would take to take a picture with me for the Instagram account, then hashtag save the planet. President's Prime... Oh yeah, I read that bit. Um, it seems that they have forgotten the moment to be ashamed of their generation had let the future generations down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Really? Wow. So you, you finally realised all that folk don't want to be... Oh man. Oh man, you finally realised it. And funny enough, you, you know the only guy who uh, didn't do it? You know, the only leader, the, the, you had Obama, you had the Pope, you had all that folk. You know the only person that didn't do it? Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump. He was the only guy who didn't literally look at you. And we should maybe look at that one time they interacted. What a face. <laughs> it's fucking brilliant, still is. You, you, she was so mad by it, but you should be a little bit more appreciative. Maybe you should speak to him now. Because he, I think Donald Trump knows that COVID is shite. I think uh, he knows that uh, your climate change thing is shit too. And I don't personally believe it at all. I mean, if the world is going in such a shit shame, there's plenty of events that happened in the past that had nothing to do with us. But... Let's continue the article. It seems as they have forgotten the moment they're ashamed of their generations, let the future generations down. I just read that. 
In a follow-up comment made by the BBC, Thunberg has more than 4 million Twitter followers. Twitter followers, sorry. She had a dislike for politicians who wanted to capitalize on her fame by being a photographed alongside her. Oh, you, you, you realize the politicians aren't on your side now? Do you not realize politicians, leaders, are on their own agendas? Like... If it looks good for them, they will take it on for themselves. I have partially done this as well, but then we all human, we all have done it. If we can see an opportunity to make ourselves look better, we take the opportunity. We all do. And politicians are probably the worst. They are the worst for it. Um, you know, those things like Pity Patel, we thought, oh, she's not going to do anything with the immigration thing. But then last night, that absolutely changed. Thank God. We should talk about that in another video. You know, some people worried about Boris Johnson. He was like, is he going to pull back on what he says? But then he doesn't. So it's kind of a trust barrier because no one really trusts politicians. Because if you, if you want to hear the word politician, the words untrust worthy, unlikable, and you can't trust them with anything. That is basically politicians. There is absolutely no way they have actual agendas for climate change. Really, they don't. And even the left have used her as well, and you got these activists that actually use her too, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> to be fair, it was a, not only Merkel it was many, she said. Oh, there's a few more. I think there's a quite a lot of them. Um, and those kinds of things happen all the time. People just want to stand next to me and other climate activists. They want to post on social media and it makes them look good and it makes them seem like they care. Yeah, that's exactly... We, we knew this. We knew this all the time, Greta. We knew this. And then we had the... What was that little girl that was like... Like, the anti-Greta, I don't want to call her that, because she said not to call her that, so... Um, you know, she was like, hey, that is just complete bullshit, all you're sp speaking about. And we, we know it's bullshit! We know the whole thing is bullshit, and we know the all this um, revolutionary folk, the Antifa folk, they're, they're there just to cause trouble. The climate activist folk... Um, they're there to cause trouble, they're not there. They even, even the number got her cell, like, she went out in the street saying, Oh, I'm here to protest and the school let me. No, the school was under a little bit of a problem, so it didn't actually need to be open, and it was, like, having real issues or something. But they got three days, so that was just false in itself. Watch, uh, Rebel News for that one. That, it's an older video, but you should watch. In January, activist Greta Thunberg was pictured with Prince Charles after she gave a speech at the World Eco Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Thought she claimed she was not referring to the Prince of Wales making her comments. Okay, maybe you are still trying to keep your barriers there. She met the Pope at St. Peter's Square in the Vatican April 2019. It's the Pope, so... Yay. When, whether global leaders vying the picture's opportunities made her feel used, the founder of Schools and Strike Climate Movement said, Yes, people definitely see me sometimes as someone who, so someone to stand next to, to look good, and that is something I really dislike because it's not the sort of person I want to be. But you did that yourself. You did that yourself, Greta. I mean, that was your fault. Um, you put yourself out there, and then all the leaders in that thought, this coin, we can use her. Like, who's who's not going to look at this little girl and think, ah, see her? She, little girl, innocent, ponytail, excellent. We can use her to promote our game for climate change. At least she's actually waking up to it. Thunberg said she was hopefully changes made to the governments and people across the globe in face of pandemic that would change the <laughs> uh, 
perception around the action quite attack global warning no no it, it, it didn't work at all i mean look at china as soon as the economy went up the emission level just went exactly to the way it was before and they're the worst one the advocate was previously shamed the uk's disclaiming carbon emissions figures as climate accounting has pushed for familiar action to be taken yeah did you did anyone hear about that like the Scottish one apparently said they didn't reach up their climate thing on time and then they blamed the massive snowstorm that happened that the last year yeah they said oh we we didn't figure this out properly but there was a massive snowstorm last year that's an excuse fucking hell I mean do you think this is really gonna work have you ever thought how this is gonna not work this is why the Green Deal by AOC in America doesn't work at all. It, it, you want to destroy everything in America to make eco-friendly things. It's not going to work unless you kill all humans. That is the only way you're going to ever work. It's to kill all humans. And I am not advocating for that at all. And you shouldn't be either. If anything, the Lurgy will change the way the... We perceive to treat the crisis because it shows during the crisis um, you act with necessary force. Necessary force. Are you kidding me? What is necessary about this? With necessary force. Oh, I don't want to know what necessary force is because that's not a good sign. She told the BBC. And it was also opened up to, by the discussion around how much she value human life yeah okay sure Greta for example people say we rapidly sacrifice the economy where sorry the saving we do it because we cannot put people's price on human life um, okay black lives matter but we'll kill all the black people we'll kill all the unborn babies, we'll kill all the other folk, we'll kill everyone who's white. That's just one. China kills Muslims. They radicalize against black people themselves. Um, there's still slaves going on, on right now. There's like farms, like clothing farms. Where do you get your next clothes? Where do you get your clothes from? Like your big brands. They come from Indonesia, these like slave farm factories. Shut up. If you introduce that logic to the climate for incidents, then that opens up many possibilities that changes discussion of the debate. Yeah, that's unless the things were actually going to make any sense. But it's not like um, anyone who's going to promote climate change was going to fuck up at all, were they? No, 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 no. There was no way they were going to fuck up. Because I don't think a lot of people are actually with her for this. Because it's like, if you want necessary action, like I said, kill people. But don't. Really, don't kill people. Because that's not, we're pro-humans, we pro-life. We don't want to kill people. But these activists don't care. And it's funny enough, also came out the same day. See it? So, sorry, Keir Starmer could drop Labour's 2030 net zero climate change target. Yeah, that is just blame because even Labour can't even pump, go to that promise of strength. Well fucking done. That's that's just bad. I mean, that is really bad when that is what the solution is. Wow. That's bad, guys. That's really bad. I mean, especially for Labour. Like, oh, we, we want to promote climate change too, but we can't do it because of reasons. <laughs> oh, man. That, that's fucking hilarious. But... Put short, it's nice to see the left lead pulling themselves. And I hope Greta realizes now, but I mean, she is young. She is young. I was young too. I mean, I didn't start making political videos, at least I was 23. Well, 22, 23. Um, and, well, I. I'm pretty stupid when I was younger, so if I said anything back then, because I think there was a video where I support Scottish independence, 
And I voted for Scottish independence, and not long after that, I thought, oh, what a stupid fucker I was. And I see now that is a really stupid way to think about stuff. And, you know, we've all made mistakes. We can learn. But she's a teenager. She learns. Like, I learned too. I vote for independence. I need to learn too, and we all need to learn as well. Self. But the left needs a massive lead pilling or white pill. I wonder, I wonder which one she got. Lead pill or white pill? Tell me in the comments below which one she got. But it's nice. I think it's nice to get her to see that she's made a massive mistake herself. Because, you know, there's absolutely no way um, she's going to look at this now. It's like, hey, look, global leader or celebrity. And you're like, hmm, are you going to use me for exploitation? Obviously they are, because they're politicians and high elite celebrities, they always do that. That's kind of why I hate celebrities now. They're like, they'll do anything for the fame or the clickbait. I mean, I love, I don't want to do that, and I don't think I ever will, but it's the fact I get that much reaction out of folk, it's fucking great. Because when you get more reaction out of people, the more you get looked at. And this is why uh, people hate conservatives, this is why people hate the left. Sorry, they love the left, but they hate the light, or the center light, or anyone on the side of the light, because the light people co like ask questions like, does that, anything you say actually make sense, like in actual terms? And then they get the, they get attraction, and then you get the long people on their side, and it's like, wow, if that made sense. But if Greta Hussell has finally realized you know, if people are just like, using her, I mean, the left used her, are, are she going to go after the politicians? I mean, she's went after them, celebrities. Is she going to go after her parents next? I mean, what about her parents? Because like, her parents have abused her for her Asperger's syndrome. I mean, they're the worst ones. I mean, has anyone actually looked at her fucking parents? Oh my god. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I hope Greta finally realizes, wakes up and like, hey, maybe this climate change thing, we can help a little bit. But, I mean, I guess there's a something around there which could help, but... She needs to realize her parents were a big fucking thing in this. They, and her management too, that is everything. Hopefully she realizes and takes a few more lead pills. We might get somebody that's on the actual side of everyone instead of just being annoying little girl. I'm done. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And the number, Hail the Empire.